Good morning traders, welcome to daily webinar. This video will also be in YouTube. The entire week of this video is in YouTube. So if you saw this one only, you might wanna go back and watch the entire week. And if you're seeing this for the very first time, I think you can see my name, it's there. So you don't need, I don't need to introduce myself. And you can actually see the method we're using. It's called wave analysis. So it's, it's kind of different from what you get out there. So please um, have fun, enjoy. I hope it helps you. If, if you find it difficult, please go back, watch some of my educational um, videos on what is wave analysis and how it works. And at times it could be very challenging if you don't, you know, if you don't know this method, if you don't understand how it works, and if you don't understand how we use the strategy to trade it. What I'm showing you here today is actually just the basic analysis, what I think the chart is going to do. Based on what we see at this moment, that could change by the end of the day and in some instances, there are possibility for both sides. In most instances, they're just one direction. So if you were looking at this video, if you were watching all the videos from the start of the week, uh, we were anticipating this move down. We got this move down. We were assuming that this could be a big running flat, which means we are assuming that this could go back one more. The bigger picture is downside. I'm not going to go into that. Watch Monday's video, you're going to see it. Or watch next week's video, you're going to see that. And I said, if you remember the start, I said, if they consolidate under this, we're gonna expect one more drop at least. And a possibility that this could be the start of the downside. So we are getting a consolidation here at the moment. So you may say, well, how would you know if that's a consolidation for sell? Because it's very basic. What if this takes off to the upside? Well, if it takes off to the upside, we don't have a buy setup at the moment. Short-term trades, yes, maybe you can buy this small one if you think you're, you want that small trade. But once it breaks this top, there is a possibility that it's going to drop. The trade is a sell under the low. That is what we'd be looking for, like this, like this here, right? This was a more classical pattern. This is a less classical pattern because we broke the low. It's probably going to be a running flat. It could get more complicated, which means they could come back here, go back up there, and then drop. There is one chance that this could take off, but you can't actually buy it here. You'd have to wait for it to break the top, make a consolidation here, and then go for the buy. There's a reason for that. I really can't go through all of that right now. I'm just giving you very quick what we're looking for, right? So in this case, we'll be looking for a sell setup with the possibility that if it breaks the top and consolidate with a flag, we will be, we'll be going for a buy setup, right? And if you don't have the flag, you're still not buying. So it's not like we're saying it's gonna go up, it's gonna go down. We're saying whatever this pattern becomes will tell us the direction. As of now, with the information we have, we're looking for short-term upside. I think this could go up a little more here. And then I'm expecting it to drop. Maybe not exactly drop, but we're not going to go into that. If it breaks the low, we'll sell. It could probably come here and go back up and then drop. We'll see when that time comes. That would be maybe Monday, so you will get a chance to see that. Silver. Good. So silver yesterday did come down some more. I think we're making a bigger consolidation here. You can see in the 15 minutes that did drop. It didn't go anywhere. We're kind of consolidating here more. And this is just going to be a consolidation for more upside. On the hourly, you will probably see a bigger consolidation in this level. This would probably go back up some more. We might come back here, make a flat. This would be a simple flat and then upside something like this. Very simple flat. There is a chance it could be more complicated than that. You could end up with, with you know, more corrections in here before you go. We'll see when that comes. Right now, it's possible buy setup we're looking for. Can this go down a little more? Possible. But I, as of now, I think we're probably going to consolidate within this range. So I'm not even sure you'll get a trade on this today because we might end up just consolidating in this range, come back here, and then look for the upside. So I don't see any setup for a buy or any setup for a sell on the silver right now at least not for the, for, for the next couple hours. Uh, gold is still consolidating. It's not going up anywhere as yet. It's just literally consolidating in this range. You can see that. This is going up to break the top here again, and it could break this top. But even if it breaks that top going up like this, there's a chance you're gonna come back here before you go up again, if we break the top. If we don't break the top, we're expecting a drop. And this is not the first time you, you could have seen the patterns behave that way previously. Here, here was a good one. We were making a very nice flag. It actually did spike, didn't break the top, and then drop. See that? So a little spike here and drop, possible. That is the trade we are looking for. If it goes up slowly, I'm not interested in a buy. This pattern, as of now, is telling me there's a sell setup coming. 
So based on the method we use and the analysis we're looking at, there is a, there's a higher probability for a sell here than a buy. So I'm not interested in buying gold. Let it drop, then we will see where, where, where that takes us. And it depends on where it dropped, whether it just breaks this low or whether it breaks this low. Bigger picture is upside. Bigger picture, I do think this is gonna come back to this level because this one is really sharp. But as of now, there's a good chance that this one could drop to this level, go back up like that, that, that should give us a flat. Or it could even drop to this level and then go back there. We'll see which one of those two come. Right now, we're looking for a sell setup. No buy setup, at least not as yet. Euro, consolidating. It's gonna come down a little more, very likely. This one would probably just come back a little more here and then we'll see. I, I still think we're gonna get one more move up because we haven't broken the top here. So I still think they'll at least go break the top. So you might get a buy set up here today. That is possible. Short-term sell, and I don't think you want that sell. We will, I will not be selling it as, as of now. Pong, it's also consolidating. This would definitely be a buy setup. This is pulling, coming down and it's coming down and it's probably gonna come down somewhere. And then we'd look for a buy setup. It might be a more complex pattern developing here because you have two sharp waves, one, two. If we put this one into a running flat, well, then this could be a complex pattern of its own. Right? This would be just the, the down move. You're going to have an up move. I mostly think it's going to be part of this one here. So we might not, for the rest of the day, you might not really go anywhere. You're just going to be consolidating in this range, which means that likely this is coming down here. There's not much trading there, right? The, the very short moves, very short moves, consolidate again, short move, consolidate, and then go back up. Chances are they can come back here and then go make a bigger corrective structure in there. Once it stays within this range, we're gonna be looking for buy setups every time it comes to the low. Aussie, Aussie dropped that. We, we sold the Aussie yesterday, but that would be a break even trade. If in the most likely scenario, it's a break even trade, break even trade, there's a rare chance anybody managed to pull their profit out because it's very small. The, the drop didn't go as far as we were expecting. So what we look for today is what happens within this range. If this consolidates within the range here, it's a sell setup we're looking for. So you would get an impulse. These are smaller corrections within the impulse. Then you're going to have a bigger correction here, and then you're looking for a drop. So what happens if instead of consolidating here, this goes back higher to this level? I think by now, if you, if you understand anything of wave analysis, you would know we're looking for a sell here and then one more move to the upside. This would just be a bigger flat. If it stays within this range, we're looking for a sell setup. I believe we can get the sell setup because we did break the top. If you were following me from Monday, you know we were expecting it to go break the top. It broke the top. I said there was a high probability of it getting to the 270. That is still possible if you make a flat here. If you consolidate here for a flag, this is a very good sell setup. Here is a, here is a good example. It dropped, it made a small correction, dropped again, make a bigger correction, and then drop. So we have a small correction. This could still be a small correction to drop, then make a bigger correction. This is a sell we are looking for, this one. And then if it goes for a much bigger correction here, we'll go with that sell. I don't think we'll get a bigger correction. I think we're going to have a probably a one hour flag here and then a drop, maybe another hour flag drop, something like this. These smaller corrections, not as big as this one. So we're going to have a series of small corrections like these, the ones we are buying to the upside. So if you were following me, that was a buy setup. When it break the top, you start looking to take profit because we were expecting this to go down. And this should be a very big trade to the downside. The risk to reward is very good in that trade. So you don't want to miss it on the one hour. Wait for the one hour consolidation and then go for the trade. I'll take this off. This was a buy setup. That's over. This was a sell setup. That's over. We're looking for another sell setup here, but it's not ready as yet because what you have is only one impulse up. You have this impulse. This will come down. This will come down here probably go back up, you'll get a flat like this, and then we'll be ready for the trade. But we are looking for a sell setup. New Zealand, same thing, we're looking for a sell setup. If it goes higher, we'll cancel the sell, sorry. If this here goes higher, look for one more down and then the upside. So the sell will come off. Swiss, it's going down to where we want it to go. If you're following me from Monday, 
I showed you this pattern and I said, there's a high probability this thing is gonna come down slowly to this level. But after that, we were expecting an up move. It's actually coming down really slow, much slower than I thought it would come down. You can see we still have a lot of divergence in play and it's coming down really slow. That was a sell setup that more, more likely is a break even. We'd close that trade already. It's not going anywhere. You're gonna make a correction here, probably drop, drop something like this, and then we'd be looking for the upside. There's a good chance we're doing something like that to go up. Can we get a sell set up here today? Maybe. It's not the best one, but it's going to come here, come back there, give you a flat like this here, and then you can look for that sell. If you're lucky, it dropped really fast. If you're not lucky, you get break even. So might be a good sell setup because there's still you know some more to go before we get. But if this thing drops a third and give us a flag, we're buying. We're definitely buying the big impulses to the upside. Yen. Okay, we might be going for the bigger consolidation. This is just a consolidation to go up. We knew that this was coming down slowly, slowly. You got another short sell, take profit immediately. In this case, as soon as you drop and it starts to consolidate, you take profit. This is making a consolidation. This one is going to go up, go up, go up, come back here. We'll get a flat and then we're going to go. Right, this is what we were anticipating based on what we have right now. That this move will become the B wave and then we'll come back. It could be more complex than that, definitely. You can probably spend a whole week going up and down here. But right now, I think there's a short up trade. I don't know if you want to trade it. This is within the B wave. This is trading. This is dangerous because they don't go very far. You can see that, right? They'll probably just do this, break the top slightly, come back down again. And it can come much deeper here and then go back and repeat this like this. We don't know what this would look like. Right? You never know what this would look like. You're always looking for the impulses because the impulses are fast and they tend to move, you know, give you enough to get out for break even if they don't go that fast. So if you're going to buy within here, you've got to be careful. What if this is the drop? Should we sell it? What if this piece here is breaking out? And instead of going up, we're going to drop through the bottom. You can go for the sell. It's a short term sell because you're selling within the impulse to the downside. Right, it's just a deeper correction. CAD. CAD actually broke out. So we were here yesterday, and this was this was not dropping, it was consolidating here. We saw the possibility for buy. I told my traders not to buy it. If you're buying it, you're buying it above the top. So if they bought that one, they literally closed it because it didn't go, it starts to consolidate. By rule, we close that trade. We have specific rules on how we're managing trades when we're in it. You are getting a sell set up here, actually, and it might be worth taking. This could be an expanding flat. So right now, for my traders, there's actually a sell setup that could still be an expanding flat. And there's a sell setup to break this low. Actually, it's a very good active sell setup right now as it stands. It's a one hour flag. You can put an entry under it. And we were expecting it to come break this low. We'll see what that gives us. If it doesn't come break the low, you can get break even out of it. Let's assume that this is the first impulse up and they're trying to consolidate here. They'll probably go up, come back, and then you can go. So there, there's a chance for break even in that trade if it doesn't go. But if it's an expanding flat, you're going to drop beyond the low. We could still get to the 786 and then the upside. So we'll see. There is one chance that it can retest the low as well, right? We, and I think we can see them setting up, right? We know that CAD is setting up. Even if it breaks the low, it's going to go back up. We know that Swiss has a little more down, going down very slow, and then it can go back up. And we know that the, the yen is consolidating to go back up. So at least those three pairs are giving us sign that they're going to go up, which means we're going to see some strength in the dollar, right? Because that would be weakness on the yen, weakness on the CAD, and weakness on the Swiss. So let's see. That might be a good sign. Let's see if it's going to work. But so far, they're still coming down. They're still getting stronger, which means we're going to get some more downside before that happens. Aussie yen, if you sold, you close. I think we got a lot of hours time to close. You close it, wait for uh, either a bigger consolidation or a up move, come back here, and then we can buy. They're all in some kind of a sideways move. You have one impulse, it's consolidating. This is still a sell until it comes to the top. When it comes to the top, it's no longer a sell. Because when it comes to the top, it's going to come here and then go back up. That would be a buy setup. But if it stays here and consolidate, that's a sell setup. 
And considering that we broke the weekly top, it's a good sell setup. It's still a valid sell setup as of today. Euro yen, it might be a sell, but I would not go with it. I think it's more of a consolidation for upside. This could probably go up here somewhere, come back here, go back up, come back, and then we're looking for the upside. So no buy or sell setup on this as yet. New Zealand yen, same thing like the Aussie yen, we'll probably be looking for short-term sells. If this turns out to be a consolidation, a drop, that would be a sell setup. Cad yen. Cad yen most likely could be uh, running flat. We spoke about that. This, if you sold it, you'll have, you'd have to take close it here because this could still be a running flat for one more up. So if you get a buy set up here, this one is worth giving a try for the buy. It might break the top and then we'll see if they turn to the downside or if they continue to go. But this has a high probability of becoming an expanding flat. Sorry, not a running. I said running, it's an expanding flat. So if there is any buy setup in the yen, it would be in the CAD yen. If there's any sell setup, go for the Aussie yen, New Zealand yen. Swiss yen, nothing as yet. It's gonna break the top again, very likely. It's in the channel. This one is actually making a channel. Go, come back, go, come back, go up. This is gonna go back, break the top. And when it breaks the top, that is where you're, that is, you shouldn't be trading this as yet until it breaks the top. So normally you would allow it to go break the top. All these buy setups should be closed by now, or you're moving your stops on them. Let it break that top. And then two things happen. It consolidates above here. That's a buy setup. This would be a running flat. Because the running flat and the channel to the downside, when they're changing direction, looks very much alike structurally. You wouldn't know which one it, it is, but you would watch the way it behaves and then you would decide which one it is, which means if they consolidate here, we buy. If it drops here, consolidate in this area, we're totally selling. That's the reversal sign and that's a big move to the downside. So let's see which one it gives us. I am more inclined to believe downside. And the reason for that is because of this entire big structure we're in. That says that at some point, once you break this stop, we're likely gonna go back down. And this might be the point from where we got up. So we'll see. If not, we come back for a deeper correction like this, right? We come back for another deeper correction like this. See, we get another correction like that. I don't know if it's gonna start to make a deeper correction here or it's just gonna reverse back to the low. We'll see which one it is. But if you get a sell set up from the top there, you should definitely take it. Right now, we don't have it, right? These were buy setups. We're gonna wait for this to break the top. We're not buying anymore. You see, I stopped putting buy entry orders. Once we come into channel, you're no longer buying. You're a cat. It's a sell, but it's not ready. And like I said, they'll probably stay here for a while. It consolidated, it went up, it broke this. It didn't break the top. So if they stay here and they consolidate some more, you're gonna get a very big consolidation here and then we're gonna get a drop. So just leave it alone. Euro Oz, I think we're consolidating also here. We were looking for a buy setup on the lower time frame, short term buy setup on the 15. That trade closed already. For my traders, I think the trade was above this one. You close that trade because it spent more than a few hours here, not going anywhere. We can actually look for the sell setup today, right? It's a sharp pullback, but we have had a few sharp pullback in this one. We actually looked at it. We've got a few like this sharp pullback. They dropped pretty much before you get the next sharp pullback, uh, which means a running flat is in play. And since we are at the top of this sharp pullback, if you get a flag here for a sell, if you get this flag here for a sell, it could actually you know, go down slow, but go like this and then get the sharp pullback like that. Worst case is what? It comes here, you start a pullback, you take break even, or you close the trade for small profit. The idea is if it's making a running flat, you may want to get the first flat flag to the downside. Let's see. It's a down trend. It's just correcting. You were in New Zealand? Same here. This one actually could be a good sell. It's coming slow. You can see this one is slow. This one is slow. But who knows how many of those slow ones you get before you get an next sharp move up? Do we have a sharp move up before that? Let's see. We had one. See, we had one here. So you could match those. This one is very impulsive. I would I'd probably go and bring this back. This is impulsive too. So not very much to match with, right? 
So it could it could go quite a lot if it keeps doing this. So you can start taking these cell setups. And then we, you don't have to take it from here. Take this one here, and then we'll see where that goes. All right, because it drops slowly. All You have to let the second one drop. You have to let this drop. Allow it to correct. Allow it to drop, and then move to break even. We'll see. We'll manage this in the trading room. All right? Let's go. Euro Swiss. Cell setup was from there. You still have another cell setup here. We're going pretty low. We might break the low. We'll see what happens. If they break this low, if they break through this low, that'd be that'd be pretty strange. It means we'll be looking at this here as a correction, incomplete kind of a correction. It's weird. Because there you had this sharp one, and we never really had another sharp one here unless you go with this. Or you go with this. I don't like either of them to be the one. So we never had a sharp one down that would have completed the flat. So we'd have to relook at this. I still think this could be a bigger correction, which means this could come to this level here and go back up. And if that happens, maybe we could look at this one here as the bigger flat. That would make more sense because this here is very corrective. That piece in the middle there. So I don't see it. I don't literally see a pattern that, that looks complete to me, which means you do two things. You stay out of it, right? You stay out of it and you do you wait wait until you get something that you can understand so i still think this is upside we broke this low let's see if we have divergence we do we have a lot of divergence here we have divergence in the four hour yep and we have divergence in the one hour yep we do so there is a cell set up here like there was a cell set up here but you have to be very careful because you already broke the low this one was okay for breaking the low but now that the low is broken everyone becomes higher risk europa sell setup you can go for it it's consolidating here so they could you could get a nice drop like that Pong Yen, consolidating it's probably going to consolidate some more i can see this consolidating here dropping like this probably go back up come back here and then we get a trade i don't think this is going to drop really hard i don't see that possible pattern forming as yet. Pankat. Yeah, so this one we were discussing yesterday in the trading room, and we were looking, you should buy this, because this was expecting to come here and then come back here, if we're going to make the flat we were looking for. It actually went up and it's pulling back. So what happens now? Let me just take this off. Just for my traders, you can understand what we're looking at. You notice I already put a new line on it, which we, we didn't have yesterday, which is this one. And immediately we're looking at this. Now this is the biggest correction and that changes everything. Because if that's the biggest correction, we're coming here to complete this flat and then upside. And then the upside is still has two options. If we look at this as a one, two, three, then we will get a one, two, three up. But what if we still look at it as being in the correction, which means this comes here, go back up like that, give us this flat. Then we still have to come back for this and then take off. So with the new change we have, with the new, with the new information we have on this one, not breaking this top. If it had broken the top, it would do what we expect it to do. It didn't break the top, we have this. It's coming down and it will break this low. You can take this off. This one is useless at the moment. I would expect this to come and break the low. This is the next pattern we're looking, next possible pattern based on what we have. Come and break this low and then go back up. Not that much, but at least back to this level. So what if this actually climbs up some more and go like this and come back here and go like that? break this stop then this would become a running flat it is still a flat this is still the biggest correction it will still be a running flat go back up there come back here and then go remember this is the punk cat we all know how punk cat corrects right how long we can go back and look at all of them right these can take very very long period of time before they go the punk cat has some of the longest corrections so yes, there would be a sell set up here, very short one. I think we may want to ignore that one to break this low, but we'll definitely take all the buy setups. Why we take all the buy setups? If we're wrong, one of them is going to take off like a rocket. We don't know which part is going to be which part here. So one of them will take off like a rocket. So every time it comes to the low, 
the best thing to do is look for the bicep. Take the bicep, like yesterday we took the bicep. That gives you a break even. The worst case scenario is you get a break even on the bicep. If you get lucky, this is the one that takes off, and then we would relook at this as the flat. We would take this as a one, two, three, right? And we'll just let it go with that. So, but I don't think this one is going to take off, that's for sure, because we need to complete. This is the biggest correction. We need to complete this one. So at least one more downside would happen, at least one more downside here. And then this one could take off like a rocket if they don't continue making more corrections. This one could take off, right? Or this one could come back here, make one more downside, and then go. So we're going to put both options. We're going to put the option that it come back here and then go. Or we're going to put the option that it actually takes off on this one. I'm more inclined to, to go with the second one because I'm looking at this. I would look at this as the bigger flat. See, this would be the first big flat inside. So you have one, two, three. No, sorry, one, two, three. Yes, one, two, three. You have one, two, three. And then you have one, two. This is the one that can go. We might not get this one. Take this off. Unless they make another bigger flat, bigger than the one we have right now. So this is the one that can go. That will complete the pattern. Let's see. We're going to leave it like this, and then we're going to come back and see if there's any change in the pattern. And then we'll decide what to do. I don't think the cell is a good idea, even if it breaks. Thomas, it broke. We bought that. That's a break-even trade. There's enough time to make break-even. The one hour has about six or 10, and you have more here. And even this morning, when I came in the trading room this morning, it was still up here. So if you were in the trade, you closed half a break even. Remember, we showed this example, right? If it starts to do this, close the trade because we are looking for either a sharper impulse up for the bigger running flat. Let me just show you, just remind for this, for this one, I'm reminding the YouTube traders, my trader know what I'm talking, a bigger one like this or these small ones and drop. So it's a sell setup. A sell setup you don't have to be careful with. Because all they need to do is break that low, and then it's going to go back up. There's a big running flat in the making. So if you get a flag here, you can sell it. Something like this you would need for the sell. But you still have to be very careful, because this is a correction going down. We'll eventually get a sharp move up, and then it's going to drop. Pound Swiss is the best sell setup you can go for now. See this? It's making a flag here. So if we get a sell setup, it would be a good idea. You would manage to trade very carefully. Because remember, if it's not just breaking the thing, right? This is a flag. And we said, if they make a flag here, we can go for this sell. But we'll still be careful because they can still do this and go back, make a new high. But once they break out of the structure, the probability of them going down becomes higher. If you want to, if you miss that one, or you know, it's a trade active trade right now. If you don't want to take that, you can wait for another flag because it's literally going down slow. You can wait for it to break out completely, make another flag, and then go for the trade, right? I showed this in details, I think, in one of the webinars. We were, I don't know, maybe it's in the trading room. I hope it's in one of the webinars. And these are the structures we're looking at, and you can literally see that. Saw this one? It break down. See this one here? They eventually break down. So this was a flat of its own. That came down. This was a bigger flat of its own. This one came down really slow. So this would come to this level, and then we're expecting it to go back up. So there's a series of, 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 of things that need to complete here before they drop like this and then take off. That is a little complex for you if, you, you know, if you're new to wave analysis. So we're looking for a short-term, very short-term sell setup to the downside, and then we'll wait for the upside. So that is only to come and break the low. Pound New Zealand. It's coming down, but that might be the B part of it. If you sell, there's a sell set up here. I think some traders might have taken it already. There was one there, but you can take this one. And if it keeps doing this, then you can expect it to go back up. You'll close the trade, look for a flat, and then look for the sell. If it goes deeper, we'd assume that this is probably all. It's not only correction. They'll probably give you some more as a running flat later on. Aussie Swiss. Okay, if it consolidates here, we can go for the sell. If this consolidates here much more, you can go for a sell, it will be short term. I think we ignore this sell, go for the Aussie yen sell or the Aussie dollar sell. Aussie CAD, 
This is the cell. So this morning we, we, we looked at this in the trading room. And yesterday, this cell here came, go back, wait for it to come down, close to break even. We explained that in detail. When it starts to do this, you wait for it to come back. To your point, this was where you would close the trade. It actually went the back, came deeper. Doesn't matter, go up. This is a flat. We're looking at that as possible flat. An intruder goes beyond this. We already broke this top. So this would be more of a complex flat forming right now. Right? If, if, if it breaks that up, we'll probably get a more complex flat pattern here. Because this is this is not just one sharp impulse. This would have to come back here, go back there, make a big flat here. Probably give you a bigger correction here, come back down slowly, go back up, give you a bigger correction, and then drop. Can it actually drop from this one here? Maybe. It's possible that this is a tree wave, C wave going up there. Right, this part going up becomes a tree wave. I think there's a good chance it's going to pull back first and then go because this looks like we're going to get a flat here. Right, so the cell setup goes under the low. It probably will spend the rest of the day consolidating. We don't have a buy setup on it yet. There is no buy setup. As long as you're consolidating in this low, there is no buy setup. Even if it's making a bigger correction, right? Even if they're coming up deeper into this top, if it's making a deeper correction, come back here and start to go up like this, we probably wouldn't buy it because it has to come back here and then go. That would be the buy setup when you have a complete flat pattern here. We don't have a complete flat pattern. Euro pump, sorry, where, where, where am I? Where am I in the Euro pump? Aussie cat, sorry, Aussie New Zealand. That was the Aussie cat, yeah. That's the Aussie New Zealand. It's just going sideways, so I don't know if you, if if anybody wants to sell it, you would allow this to go up somewhere. And then look for a sell. It's not the best sell. It's moving really slow. Best thing to do is stay away from it. And New Zealand Swiss, it's coming down. They're going up very slowly here. So at some point, you're going to get one more down. And then we're going to have a flat for upside. Pretty much like this. One, two, three. If they break the top, then we'll go for running flat. The sharpness of this means we might not break the top. We might just go up, drop one more, and then continue to go. New Zealand CAD, it's the same thing. You're getting a very slow move up here too. The move down was not that fast. The move up is even slower. Come one more down, and then we'll get a buy setup. So we can let that happen and then go for the buy. CAD Swiss. Okay, so you did get this drop. That one there, this drop, it actually came back to this low a little lower than I expected. You should have taken that trade off because this is a consolidation. So now we have a complete flat. I think this one is important because this one we were discussing in the trading room before we start the weekly free analysis, right? What patterns should look like and why we trade patterns. We started it from here, this discussion, right? That if this goes, this is sharp and this is sharp, and then we get this, then we have to do this and then come back here before you go. Pretty simple. It works, right? All of this was discussed way before they happened. And this is how you know wave analysis is not a guesswork. Because these, these, were, these were patterns we say we actually forecast way before it happens because it's similar to patterns we know. It dropped. At this point, we we're expecting an upside. If you get a buy setup, you should definitely go for it. Can it go one more lower? Of course. You can make a flag like this, break the low and then reverse. You can make a flag here, break the low and then reverse. An expanding flat is still a flat. But if we get a buy set up here, we should take it. Which means if this thing starts to go up, go for the trade. It's worth it. We have a perfect flat pattern, see? And this one. It's going up, like I said yesterday, it's probably gonna go back up to this level. Remember I said, when this drop, you want to wait for a flag here, you're getting a correction here, and then you can expect this to go up to this level and then they can drop again, depending on how this goes. If it goes really aggressive, you're gonna break through the structure and go up. If it goes slow, you're gonna drop one more. Let me go, I'll have to go very fast now. Time is, is in essence, this one is consolidating. It's gonna consolidate more Then it's gonna go break the top. I don't see cell setups because the cell setup would have been here. It's a break even trade. They're going to come back here, probably do this, and then you can look for the buy setup. 
US oil, it's consolidating. That means we're going to break the top again. Because you're consolidating in this range here. You're going to break the top again. There's a buy setup. This, this might not be the buy that goes. Right, this here might not be the buy that takes off. It might just be the buy that comes to the top and then come back here and then do this for a while and then go. But if that is the one that takes off, good for you. Put an entry either. You can either try to buy this or buy an entry above the top, whichever. If you can manage this only. If you're buying inside of the range, you have to be able to manage when it goes to the top or the bottom of the range. After guys, it's going up more of as a consolidation. So you can look for the sell setup from here. You can look from the sell setup from here. Let it go up some more and then you get a drop. Okay, there were some messages. Sorry, I wasn't opening the chat. Uh, uh, Johan, oh, that's the Aussie cat. Okay, we'll look at that again. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a correction to the downside. I think we're looking for the Aussie cat, not on the daily, a short-term correction to the downside. So the daily, yeah, the daily is definitely upside. And US 30. It's at the top, like I said yesterday, it's not worth the buying, it's not worth buying today again. There is a running flat there with a small flag, but I would not buy it, not at the top, and not the way this is going up. The only time you would go with the buy is if it comes back to this level, right? Is if this comes back to this level here and then give you a buy setup, then it's worth it. Let it pull back first, then go for the buy. DAX, it's consolidating, so it will be a buy. Right, it's consolidating here. It will probably come down again. This will probably come down a little more here. And then you'll get a, a buy setup going there. S&P 500, that's a buy setup. NASDAQ a buy setup, very short term. NASDAQ actually is consolidating now. So looks like we're gonna get some more correction. Uh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Let me just go back there, yeah. Looks like you're good. This one is setting up to correct deeper, to correct downwards like this, and then probably up again. AU200, we don't have the buy setup as yet. It's still making a flat for upside. So this is, uh, sorry, this, this will be one short buy, but then we're looking for the sell. I don't think this buy is a good idea. It's going to break out. You can decide if you want it, but once we break out, the chances are they're gonna come back down. That is because of the bigger pattern we're looking at, right? That is this one here. You've got a sharp move up, you've got a sharp move down. All of this here eventually comes here, go back up and then drop. So we'll wait for the sell. Let it go up one more and then start to come down. Then we go for the sell setup. Nifty. It's pulling back deep, but they've had deep pull back before. So wait for flags and buy. If you get a flag here for a buy, go for it. Tesla. We're back at the top and we'll see what happens from here. All right. So if you bought it, you've got to take one impulse, take profit. If you buy this, take off the profit, wait for another correction, buy that, take off the profit, wait for another correction, buy that, take off the profit. If it's a running flat, it could go higher, come back here and then go. And it's likely a running flat. Amazon, one more up. If you wanna buy this, there's probably gonna be one more up to this level. And then you'd have to take off the profit because the chances are this is a flat and we're gonna drop. But you would have to at least move your stop to break even. Reliance. It's consolidating, so you'd have to wait for the consolidation, go for a buy. It just started, that's the first impulse down on the consolidation. PayPal drop, nothing new, expected. It's dropping, it's gonna come back to the low. The question we'll have on PayPal is whether this is the impulse down or whether that is part of a bigger correction, this move down, right? So remember it came to the top and then it dropped, right? Nothing new. Which one I just told you is at the top? I think was uh, Amazon, Tesla. Tesla was at the top now. Be careful when you go to that top because this was a sharp wave down. Tesla has exactly the same thing. This one is already showing you what could happen to Tesla. So it's coming back here. And then the question is when it's going to go back up. The question is when this go back up, is that actually the start of it? Or is this very corrective? And this just becomes this move up 
for one more down and then go. Right? We don't know that as yet because this one is not super corrective. This is not super corrective. It's not super sharp either. It's not as sharp as this, but it's not as corrective as this one. So we'll just have to let it. You, this is a cell setup. Sell it to the low. And when it starts to turn, we will buy it. But as it comes to the top, we'll see how it goes. If it goes very slow, we'll assume that one more down is possible. If it goes really fast, you'd assume that this correction is finished and it's going. So you still have more cells to the low here. And then you'll be looking for the buy. Very simple. Not complex. This one just, just it's correcting already, so you can go for the buy. Probably should be in the buy already if you trade this. Or wait for it to break out because it can come back again here. It didn't break this, so it doesn't need to break the low. That's a running flat. So you know they might drop one more at this level and then go. It's just leave it until it starts to break out. Bitcoin. Okay, we broke the top. And we're coming right back in. We cannot confirm the downside as yet. But we notice that they're consolidating here, right? It's starting to do the magic, right? It's consolidating here. And if they consolidate here, guess what? By the way, it's a good discussion on, on Bitcoin. So all my followers who watch me and think uh, there's something interesting to that. Remember what I said, what will happen when it goes to the top? You should remember that because there's a big discussion in Bitcoin going on, right? One person said, when it break the top is when you should buy. And I am telling people when it break the top, you should be careful. So my good friend, if you bought it, <laughs> the guy who was commenting on, uh, on Facebook, on YouTube, sorry. If you bought it, I hope you're careful. I hope you listen to me and you're careful. And you're still not in that trade because now you're upside down. And if you bought that at 62 or 63 or 64, you better get out of it or you better be careful, move your stops. I'm telling you to be careful because it can come all the way back to 28. I don't think it's going to come lower than 28 because I'm looking at these patterns are running flat. This is how we look at it. It broke the top. It doesn't have to break the low. And this is the low. The low is at 29, let's say 30. So you'll be lucky it might come to about, I don't know, 32 and then go back up. If it's an expanding flat, it will go lower than that. Now, are we confirming that this is going down as yet? No. We don't have that confirmation. We only have one single impulse to the downside. That doesn't mean anything as yet. You see, I have this line here. That means it can still go back up. But every time you break that up, you'll be very careful. If it consolidates in this range here as it's doing right now, that is a sell setup. Now, would it be a sell that will be dropping to the low or would it give you this? Would it give you one, two, three, and then go back up? We'll see. I don't know that. I don't have a magic ball. I just look at patterns that I know and I said, hey, be careful when this thing comes to the top because based on all the previous patterns I have seen, and I've seen hundreds of thousands of these patterns, when it breaks the top in this specific condition, it could go way back to the low. That's all. I'm telling you what I've studied and what I've seen in the chart. You decide what to do with that information. XRP, downside. It did go up, it came there. We're breaking, this is a cell setup you have here. And that means we're not gonna break the top, we're gonna drop, we're gonna drop back to this level. And that means from this level, we can still go back up. That is still possible. We'll watch it when it comes to that level. If this actually breaks through entirely, it could do both. You're getting a sell set up here and you should take it because this could either come and break this low here and go back up one more, or it could break and come and break through this low. And that's it. So this sell is a good idea. This one went to break the top. We anticipated for that to go break the top. And now we're watching this pattern here. Every time they break the top, they tend to make some consolidation and come back. They break the top. They came back. They break the top. They're probably going to come back here. At some point, they're going to break through that structure. ETH, it went way to the top, and it's coming back down. It didn't break the top. 
And that's a surprise. I, I thought they'll break the top for a big running flat, but we anticipate that they're gonna break this top. So this was a buy setup to break that top. Take, if it consolidates here, look for a sell because this sell could bring you back to this level and then the upside. This might be, I can't confirm that, but this might be a running flat in the middle here. I think we'll probably look at that as a running flat. You do have a correction here and you do have a correction here. It's not the best version of a running flat, but it's possible. We'll see. If, if at this point you get a flag, it's a sell. If it corrects, if it makes a flat, it's a buy. What does that mean? If this goes up more to the top here and then come, that's a buy setup. If this stays here and drop, that's a sell setup. Which one? I don't know. We'll see. You have to wait for that to give you the setup and then you take the trade. So can this go higher? Of course, but you will still have to be careful. It doesn't mean that they just have to tag the top. They can break the top quite a lot and then come back. It means every single trade after that becomes high risk. Dash, more downside than upside. I don't think it's going to drop right now. I can see this one coming here and probably going back up, making this a flat. That's a possibility. Break the top and then come back. Right? These are also downside. This one is downside. This one is downside. I'm not gonna waste time with this. This one, I think one of them had upside in it. This one has upside. This one is upside until you break this top. So this one has upside to break that up and then we'll see what happens. And this one, I think is downside. Now this one also could go break the top. These two still can go break that top and then come down. So there might be a little more upside in these. If it starts to drop from here, no problem. That's okay, it can go. So keep your eyes on them. Watch the ones you trade. Understand what pattern they're making, understand the limits of the pattern, understand where is the turning points in the chart. It doesn't mean it has to exactly turn from that point, just that you know that at that point, that pattern is completed itself and you have to be cautious. That's all. The wave analysis does give you a heads up. It does give you an edge in the market because it allows you to understand what the pattern is doing. And that's a great thing. Understanding something that you've seen before the reason you cross in the green light is because you know that you 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 were trained to cross in the green light all the time. So anytime there's a green light, you cross, right? That's the norm. It's the same thing with patterns; they repeat themselves. So if you see a pattern, you decide, hey, this pattern is just like 100 patterns I've seen before. It might behave the same way. It's not a 100% guarantee it will, but the higher probabilities it will. That's all. So, okay, guys, it's Friday. You guys trade with care. Have a good weekend. I would see all of you on Monday for the weekly update. I am not sure next week will be the whole week I'll give away free. Uh, probably just do the weekly update. But let's see if you encourage me, I might give you the whole week free. Let's see how you react. You just share this to an extra thousand people and we might get the whole week free again next week. So take care, trade with care, and see all of you next week.